Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie and I make videos about law school. It's been a minute since I have filmed anything. I think it's been about eight weeks and that is pretty much because I had a terrible November. <laughs> Uh, if you've watched my videos at all, you know that I've had some jaw issues and so I actually had surgery done um, and I wasn't really allowed to talk um, for about a month, which means no making videos. And as I was recovering, I rolled right into finals season, so I was kind of preoccupied with finals. So if you miss me, that is why I haven't been posting for the last couple of weeks. Side note, if you hear me kind of lisping, it's because after my surgery, my jaw hasn't like adjusted all the way. So I'm kind of self-conscious like being on camera. It's going to even out as time goes on, but that's another reason why I haven't wanted to post because I'm kind of self-conscious. So just ignore any lisp you hear, please. This whole video is about reflecting on my first semester of 2L and kind of laying out my resolutions for next year because I do have some things that I would do differently. So one of my lessons learned from this semester is when the administration tells you not to take a full course load to believe them. Our full course load at my school is 17 credits and I took 17 credits this semester. And I think I kind of lulled myself into this false sense of security um, or like had a little bit, I was a little overconfident, I'll say. Um, and it ended up being a lot of work. Um, I was really, really stressed out for the second half of the semester. And I just took a lot on in my extracurriculars as well that just compounded like the stress that I was going through. So this upcoming semester, I made a priority to take, I think I'm taking 13 credits, which is like a solid amount, but I really didn't want to overwork myself the way I did last semester. I should have listened. If your administration tells you, please listen, <laughs> because it's really not that fun. And kind of to go along with that, because I had so many classes, I did not end up feeling as like prepared for the classes that I had finals in. Um, so I'm a little nervous about that to kind of find out what my grades are gonna be like this semester. <sighs> I don't know, you guys, it's, it was just stressful from start to finish. Um, like in addition to my surgery, I went through a depressive episode, my car broke down, um, I had some stuff going on with my family that was stressful. Um, so I'm taking a little bit of work off of my plate this semester. I, and this is just a personal flaw of mine, I hate asking for help and I hate coming off like I'm making excuses. Uh, but when I was going through my little like mental health depressive episode, I didn't tell my professors and I didn't ask for like extensions on things or like help with my workload at all. And I think it kind of bit me in the butt, like on the back end. So that's something that I'm definitely going to be focusing on next semester is just if I start to struggle again, I have to prioritize myself because no one else is going to. I tend to harp on the mental health thing a lot, but like I've talked about in other videos, I have a pretty intense focus on my mental health because of the issues that I've had with PTSD. So it's something that I just need to really dial down and not let my schoolwork kind of take front seat and lead me into kind of ignoring my mental health. And I know that's a struggle for a lot of people. So I guess I'm saying this more just to let you know that you're not alone. And it's like this ongoing process of like, recalibrating what you're doing to stay on track with your mental health. So another thing that I've learned as I've started my job hunt is that I don't want to work in big law at all. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but it seems like career services at my school, they really push like the big law avenue. I guess it's because they want alumni who make a lot of money and then contribute to the law school, you know, in years to come. 
but it just, you know, I had some Big Law interviews and I just didn't like the vibe, if that makes sense. You know, one firm I interviewed with defends like big tobacco and I, <laughs> I got off the interview and they were really nice people, but I was just like, do I want to be doing this work? You know, do I want to be defending like Jewel for giving teenagers lung cancer? You know what I mean? Like, I just, I had like interview after interview and I just wasn't, it wasn't resonating with me and I wasn't really like connecting with the work. And I kind of grappled with continuing to apply to big law because it just seems like that's what everyone wants to do. It's like you either want big law or you want like pure public service. At least that's how it comes off to me. And I worked in public defense. I, I think that public service jobs are super important. Legal aid's very important, but I'm still kind of on the fence as to whether I want to dive headfirst into like a public defense job. Um, and again, a lot of it has to do with the workload, how taxing it is on people long-term. Um, when I left the military, I told myself that I was going to shape a career that I actually wanted since I had been kind of at the whim of the military for a decade. And I just don't want to put myself back in a position where I'm in like a big law firm where I have no control over my life, or I'm in a public defender job where I know I would be doing good work, but where I would still kind of lack, lack the ability to say, no, I'm not gonna take that extra thing on today. You know what I mean? Because the workload is just so great. I did a lot of soul searching and came to find that something like 50% of lawyers who graduate law school go and they work at firms of less than 15 attorneys, I think. So basically small to medium firms. And I think that's where I'm going to be targeting a lot of my effort is to go to like a small or a medium firm where, yeah, there's not as much prestige. I'm not gonna be making as much money but there are still going to be opportunities to serve people and not necessarily like large corporations. Um, I want to have clients who live in my community who are worried about personal legal issues, not whether, you know, some company is going to merge with another company. Um, and that's, that's work that Big Law can't give me. Yeah, I haven't gotten too far in my uh, job search, but that's really what I'm gonna be targeting. There are a few federal government jobs I wouldn't mind having. My background is in marine biochemistry, so I am gonna be applying to like the EPA. Um, I applied to the US Patent and Trademark Office. Um, so there are some like federal government jobs I wouldn't mind having but for the most part, I'm focusing on small to medium firms. Uh, I'm not sure what practice area I'm interested in either. I am like basically halfway through law school and I feel kind of nervous about not really knowing what I want to do yet. <laughs> I know logically that that's something that everyone feels, you know, we just don't have enough time like in the real legal world to really get a sense I guess if you are having similar thoughts or going through similar like uncertainty about your career trajectory, let me know in the comments. As always, you can reach out to me on Instagram. My handle is at the underscore lawyer s. If you enjoy this content and want to learn more about law school, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.